Hey everybody, it's Koi from Ray of Gratitude, giving you a peace of mind to at least that one person at a time. Right here in this video, I'm giving myself a peace of mind <laughs> by doodling. And the word doodle just sounds funny, right? But hear me out, right? It's it's really important, actually. It, it helps you with a lot of things, especially when your brain activity is super hyper, you know, when, when you're dealing with a lot of anxiety. Or possibly even if you're trying to rev up that energy and get in connection with those creative juices <laughs> you know um so let's talk about that right utilizing doodling for anxiety and depression um it's a form of creativity that is not necessarily spoken about as creative because it's very intuitive um it's more of you getting into the flow of your own spirit so you can actually be guided through that energy. Story time. So I remember in high school, um, I used to kind of like zone out. Um, it's just, I just didn't want to be there. I didn't like school. In high school, just, I don't know, I was dealing with just a lot of emotions that I had no idea of when I look back at it. But, um, you know, I wanted to create. It just was boring to me. And I started doodling a lot. And looking back, it calmed my nerves. It calmed whatever emotions I was dealing with that I had no idea of at the time. And it actually helped me ground myself, um, get me more focused and in the zone. Now, of course, a teacher from every now and then would kind of snack me out of that zone and call on me or whatever. But I'm bringing this up because I want you to know that us adults can utilize that too, especially when we're dealing with some type of emotions. Um, it may be hard to actually sit still when you're dealing with anxiety. It may be hard for you to get up and actually do something if you're dealing with depression. But if you can actually take that step forward and grab that piece of paper and pen, that's one step further to actually taking that deep breath and saying, all right, F this, let's, let's, let's utilize my hands let's um, like almost like writing let's dump this energy on this piece of paper and follow and flow with my intuition doodling can be a form of art if you keep your consistency but it also can be an intuitive creative process that can really help you tune in with your emotions actualize them and honor them and release them <laughs> This process is also great for you to start getting your gears turning and use when things are a little bit cloudy and you're not quite sure where your intention should be. But when you get into the flow of things, this activity can really open your heart, open your mind, and really expand your creativity. Check out more videos, like, share, and subscribe to see how the creative journey and the spiritual journey align, helping you and directing you to meet your most authentic parts. Bye.